Am I doing it? I think so. Is that sexy? Good morning, party people. Welcome to Monday morning. Uh, I've got tired eyes, but that's okay. It's push pull day, y'all. Lane and I are in for our morning session. This is week three or four of the program. Great question. Great. Yeah, three weeks in. So there's uh, some strength work to start off with. So we're bench it. I'm gonna get my strap down. First of the well, close towards working sets here. Blaze has done a double at 1.30. So I'm gonna to attempt to replicate now. Strapping the wrist for a bit of extra stability there. Last week we got doubles at 1.40. So if I can get that again, that would be lovely. That's a failed attempt at 145 for two. So the first one fine, the second one there just lost positioning. That happens, particularly when you're going for a heavy rep, you wanna have everything set up. Bench is about so much more than just like moving it with your arms and your chest. You wanna make sure you're like, your glutes are on, your core is stable, everything's on and pressed and ready for it and I just wasn't ready for it. So that's okay, we'll drop the weight back now and go for reps. All right, correct bench technique, which is super important and hopefully you guys can learn something here. Play, right, take so it away. Uh, bench technique is a little specific to the purpose, so we're, we're pressing for strength here, so we're going to set up a little different. So, for the setup, you're going to notice Nate's shoulder blades are retracted and depressed, so they're down and back to give him a nice solid setup point. His glutes are on, he's got a small arch in his lower back. His heels are driving into the ground, pressing forward to give him that leg drive. He's going to take his bar, hands out of the bar, just find a comfortable position, there's no rule on this. Head stays down. We'll take a deep breath in and we're going to unrack. All right. and as we come down to the body, we control it all the way to the chest and we press up. You'll notice the shoulder blades get a little more freedom on the press up. That's just to let them encourage through their natural range of motion um, and allow for the most hypertrophy and strength benefits as we're lifting. So that deep breath in, that brace as we press, maintaining that setup the whole time is going to give you a nice strong framework with which to press off. When Lane talks about bracing, one of the biggest things that you said to me once which is great. The reason we breathe in, like holding the stomach all nice and firm, because it keeps stability all through the back and everything there. Same when you breathe out, your body can move around. If you breathe in and try and bend, it's really hard because everything's big and tight. So it's going to create a more stable base to lift from. Yeah, absolutely. A really good way to think about that is, is it easier to sprint on sand or sprint on the ground, you know, hard ground. And it's obviously, it's always ground because you've got a nice strong framework with which to push off. Same thing with our abs. It lets us express the most force that we can. Incline dumbbell press is next on the menu. So going for 10 reps here, four set through, uh, starting with 35 kilos, but last week we went up. Just laughing at me. Saying chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. <laughs> 
So this next is a little superset. We're doing dumbbell Arnold press here, straight into cable flies. So uh, the Terry Delt is smoked by the end of this one. Look at him go! He's so fast, he's so sick. It is all hypertrophy focused, so we're dropping the weight down a little bit, focusing on form. We've got 36 kilos aside on this. Things to notice on the cable fly, particularly, is that my feet are together. I'm not leaning up and stretching my chest up, chest down, ribs are down, and I'm bringing my elbows in and then stretching right out at the top. I see a lot of people doing cable flies like that, and you're just limiting your range of motion. Um, which is going to stop you getting full growth in the pectorals. Moving on to a pull portion of this. So it's a push pull. I don't know if I explained that at the start of this. We're doing a push pull program right now, but it's not push day, pull day. It's push pull together. So we've done predominantly pushing exercises to start with. Now moving on to pull. We're doing a bent over row. You're doing this underhand? Yes. Underhanded bent over row, supersetted with a neutral grip lat. Pull down. This one's spicy. channel before you'll know my two main cues for back work is all about elbow placement so I'm doing the row there I'm trying to pull my elbows as far behind my body as I can that's my cue of how well to contract through the lats when I'm doing the pull down here bring my elbows down towards my hips now again because this is a hypertrophy based thing I'm not going crazy heavy I'm not shrugging the weight moving around my whole body I'm really trying to utilize my lats to contract that weight down Elbows down to hips. Next up, we've got a uh, close grip bench. So let's focus on the triceps. And then straight from there, we move into a hammer curl. What? He's our, yep. <laughs> Tendinopathy too much, so I'm just doing normal curls, but Lane is doing hammers there. 
the lesson there is if you can work around something with that causing pain rather than neglecting my arms altogether I'm just doing what I can so yeah I may not be getting the full kind of hit of the bicep the way I'd like to but I'm still not losing gains by skipping out altogether let's go We're done, that's it, we're finished. Super set to finish. Oh boy. So this is a great session. The pump is very real. Um, because we're not hitting as much shoulders as we would if we did like a solo press day, throwing shoulders into the leg sets this week. But otherwise, I'm really enjoying this current program. It's a bit different than what we've been doing, so it's always nice to mix things up. If you got questions, concerns, Comment down below. If you guys want training with Lane and I, check out the link below to the Milestone Strength Training Programs in our members only app. We can help you on your way to fitness. We'll see you guys next time.